Here we're going to show you how to do the aluminum, magnesium, and zinc test. Uh, definitely not a simple one. So first we're going to take a drop of aluminum, drop of magnesium, and a drop of zinc. Put it into here. Then we're going to add some potassium ferrocyanide to it in each one. Okay, and what's going to happen there is that one of these is going to precipitate, the other two are not. Okay, and that's pretty clear from there, but to kind of help show you that, if we set this on paper and then look at the letters on here, you can see those two are definitely clear, but this one is cloudy. So this one is formed a precipitate, the other two have not. So that's how you narrow it down at first, and then if your unknown matches the precipitate, that's what you have, and if not, then you need to go through the next section. So in the next part, we're going to take a drop of aluminum. You don't need any more than that. You don't want a lot at this point, otherwise you're going to be filling with hydroxide forever. Okay, and you're going to add sodium hydroxide to that. And when you mix the two, let's do just a drop here. You'll get a precipitate. Okay, so we can see that cloudiness. And we're going to do the same thing with magnesium. We're going to take a drop of magnesium. You don't want any more. And then we're going to add sodium hydroxide to that as well. So when we get the sodium hydroxide in here, that's going to precipitate as well. So now we have two precipitates in these two containers. But what you can use to distinguish them is that if you continue to add more and more hydroxide to it, one of them is going to dissolve, the other one is not. So in an excess of hydroxide, one of them will go from being a precipitate to being clear. And in the second one, adding an excess of hydroxide, it will remain a precipitate. So you'll note that now that I've added a lot, this one is still cloudy, while this one is now clear, and I can see through it. So that's how you would distinguish the aluminum from the magnesium. And at that point, you would run a third test tube with your unknown. Make sure you get the precipitate first, and then see whether that precipitate dissolves or stays with excess of hydroxide added to it. And that's how you would tell the difference between zinc, magnesium, and aluminum.